Welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to learn how to redirect standard error and standard output to the same file. So you have some command, we'll just keep it simple and say ls. The way you're going to do this is you're going to direct standard output to some file, we'll just call it uh, output, and then you're going to redirect standard error and you're going to say ampersand 1. So we should be able to see the output there and then let's say we have some error we'll just say ls tacos and we can see the error there as well so this piece here at the end two greater than ampersand one you can think of it as we're going to redirect standard error to standard output which is already going to this output file now you might be wondering what is this ampersand for well if you didn't put that in there, it would look like you were just direct redirecting to a file called one. So to be a little bit more specific and say, hey, no, we actually want to refer to standard output instead of a file called one, then you would prefix this with the ampersand. So this is a pretty universal way of doing it. There is a better, easier way to do it, but it's not supported on all versions of bash and older versions of Linux. So if you're on newer Linux, then you're probably fine. And I wouldn't even worry about this older version, but for those of you who might be doing some older stuff, then you might need to know this way of doing it. Now, you also probably see this in the wild, so it's probably good to understand what this is here. And here is a good Stack Overflow answer explaining this. So shout out to this person At first, to redirect to one may look like a good way to redirect standard error to standard out. However, it will actually be interpreted as redirect standard error to a file named one and indicates that what follows and proceeds is a file descriptor and not a file name. So the construct becomes two greater than ampersand one. So yeah, pretty cryptic, kind of dumb, but let's talk about the better way of doing it now. Pretty much, you're going to issue your command and redirect and prefix that with the ampersand and then give a file such as output. Is that simple? And now we can say cat output to see that output and let's say we have some error. Well, now you can see it cannot access tacos. And if you want to append, it's very simple. You just add another greater than sign. So now you can see both of those errors exist. And if we happen to get one working, let's say we just issue ls by itself, well, that'll be appended there as well. So we got cannot access tacos, cannot access tacos, and then that output. So one of the downsides here is you can't append for errors and then replace for standard output. If you want to do that, then you want to do two separate files. If you want to do that, then we talked about that like two episodes ago. So if you want a good helpful table showing all these different options, you can find it on this question here. Scrolling down, you can see this lovely table of 10 different ways to redirect errors and standard output. And you can see them all here. We've pretty much covered some of these basic ones here. We haven't gotten into T. So if you want a good description of all these different options and how they differ, then this would be a good way to start. T is going to be used if you want that output to show up in the terminal, but also go to a file. We might get into that in an upcoming episode, but for now, we've got the basics of redirection down. You should be able to understand redirection to some extent when you see it in the wild, and you should be able to do it yourself if you want to basically clear out the terminal for cleanliness or if you just want to keep a record of any issues that may have shown up for one of your commands or your scripts. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming episodes and be sure to subscribe, hit the like button.